Hi, second grade. I have a fun activity for you. Hi, second grade. So this week we're going to be inspired by an artist named Andy Goldsworthy. Here's some art by Andy Goldsworthy. Before I tell you about it, take a close look at it. What do you notice about it? What kinds of colors? Are they warm colors, cool colors? Do you see any textures, things that you could feel? What do you think this is made out of? Here's another image. You might think that this tree is on fire or it's glowing, but what he did was he took the yellow leaves, put them really close to the tree, and then used an ombre kind of effect and used kind of the orange leaves. And it really does look like the tree is glowing. And it's crazy that he got this to look that way. So he uses things he finds in nature. You might choose to do leaves. You might choose to use rocks. It's totally up to you. I'm going to give you some ideas. Here's kind of a mandala. So a mandala means that it's radial. There's kind of a pattern to it. Your pattern could be color. Yours may not have a pattern. Yours might be asymmetrical. It doesn't have to be leaves. It could be pine cones or grass. This one is not by Andy Goldsworthy, but it was done by someone inspired by him. They found feathers. It could be rocks, like I said. For this project, I want to do something other than crayons and marker and paper. Um, I wanted you to think outside the box, kind of outside the house. Here's another one using sticks. Not quite sure what this part is, but um, it really does look like it's kind of like a hole to some hobbit cave or something, but it's really interesting. And I think you might find some creative ways to make your own art inspired by Andy Goldsworthy. So if you are not quite sure what to do, just take a walk. You might find something that inspires you. It could be leaves. Hey, it could be trash. Just make sure that you're being careful. If it's sunny, you may want to put on some sunscreen. You definitely want to let an adult know where you are or have your parents go with you if you're going to go on a walk. Um, but think about things that you can assemble in a way, like Andy Goldsworthy, into an outdoor kind of exhibit. Or if it's rainy or something, you can always do this inside too. So let's rocks near my apartment complex. You could assemble them in a way, maybe do something radial like a circle, or you can even use them with other things like leaves. And don't forget that the end of the projects, I put a little link for a submission. You don't have to upload a photo of what you made. You can just click it and tell me that you've done it. And I know you did it, but I will always love to see what you've created. So if you can, maybe have your parent or you snap a photo of what you made and then add it to that submission so that I can see it. And maybe I can share it once we get back to school, whenever that is. And it'd be really cool if I could show that to the school and make a whole exhibit of things that we created while on our quarantine. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one. I'm so excited to see what you're going to make and see you later.